Hello everyone! In this video we are going to do a very simple math problem and you are going to be surprised that many of you are actually going to get this wrong. So here is the problem and I don't want you to use your calculator. So here is the problem. We have 8 minus 8 times 8 and minus 8. So as you can see no huge numbers. We have only subtraction and multiplication. Yeah. So of course most of you out there like yes I can handle this. This is basic. I can handle this problem. This is basic subtraction, basic multiplication and I learned this stuff at school. So I suggest you to choose one of the correct option. What do you think? And go ahead and put Put your answer in the comment section and I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one minute and we will check our answer in the end of the video. Okay, so here is the problem. We have 8, I write right here, we have 8 minus 8 times 8 and minus 8. So here is our problem. And I want to start with the main common mistake right here. A lot of students do this mistake. So take a look closely. They say, okay, we have 8 minus 8 and 8 minus 8 right here and they like want to subtract it. They say, okay, 8 minus 8 equal to 0 and right here 8 minus 8 equal to 0 and they say, okay, 0 times 0 equal to 0. But this is a correct, uh, not correct approach. This is a wrong approach. But what is the correct approach? Because obviously whatever order you select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order of operation. And then I show to my students, okay, right here PMDMC order, the main popular order in the world, most like internet libraries mm, work with this order. So this is the main popular order in the world. Okay, and let's see right now. So I rewrite this problem. So 8 minus 8 times 8 minus 8. So here is the problem. And what does this order tell us? Right here we start with parentheses, then exponent, multiplication, division part and addition, subtraction. Yeah. So if we walk according to this order of operation, the first one is parentheses. Are there any parentheses right here? No, I don't see any of those. And exponent, I don't see any squares, I don't see any cubes right here, fourth power. So this is really great because we just skip these two steps right here. Then we have multiplication and division part. Are there any multiplication division sign right here? So yes, I see this multiplication sign. As, as you can see, multiplication division is before addition and subtraction. Yeah. So we need to start with this multiplication at first. This is our third step right here. So we need to start with this one. Okay, 8 times 8 equal to 64. We all know it. But behind this we have 8 in the beginning and in the end we have minus 8 as well. So we need to rewrite these elements from the beginning. And right now if you know a little bit about math you can easily cancel this 8 because 8 and minus 8 we can cancel this is equal to 0. And what we still have right here? We still have minus 64 which is our answer because minus 64 is our answer according to PMDMC order and this is a correct a correct answer. But a lot of students ask me okay right here we have 0 and then I, then I uh, answer, ask them okay how, what we need to do with this question to get this 0? And they said the timely. Okay, we need to put parentheses because if we put parentheses right here it will be a correct answer because we need to start with this parentheses because parentheses is before multiplication. Yeah, So we need to start with parentheses equal to 0 and right here equal to 0 as well and then multiplication because this is the third step. Okay, So I hope you understand this explanation and right here I write this answer once more. So this is option option C. I hope your answer is the same as, as mine. Okay, so now if you plug in into like a basic calculator, you will have not correct answer. You will have like the zero, I guess, maybe, or minus eight. It looks like it depends on the calculator. But if you plug in into like scientific calculator, graphing calculator, you will have like this answer minus 64. You can easily check it and write it in the comment. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. Okay, now if you need to learn basic math, interesting brain test, IQ question, if you're struggling with basic math or like pre-algebra concept, you can easily subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. So thank you for your time and have a great day.